Hello everybody, this is Steve from Old Boy Moto. G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Something a little bit different today. Um, well, probably not too different. I can remember many years ago, before I even had this little uh, vlogging camera, I did a small video on my John Deere loader and um, it seemed to got a good response to that. There was a problem with it and I shared it with people. And uh, this is probably 10 years later. I've still got the same loader, the JD410. And uh, I'll tell you what, this machine, for what I use it for, it basically is my right arm. And, uh, you know, I've used it on the property here. We're on 20 acres and it's literally done everything for me. Um, the motor uh, still purrs like a kitten. You know, I've had it for probably nearly 20 years now and I've never put a spanner to that motor. Uh, there's no leaks, there's no seepage, there's just absolutely nothing. Um, you know, it, it, there's just nothing. So the motor's absolutely 100% reliable and, you know, starts every time. I did replace uh, a starter motor many years ago. Um, and I put a quality one on there. It was a Bosch uh, item, and it was even back then, probably 10 or 12 years ago, was nearly a thousand dollars. But uh, here it is here. Yeah, a good quality starter motor will will make sure that you're going all the time. Now I got on it the other day and uh, just pulled it out of the driveway. Oh, sorry, out of the shed. And uh, as I'm backing up and looking around, I looked on the ground and I could see a trail of um, oil, you know, and I'm thinking, oh shit, you know, we've sprung a leak sort of thing. And I uh, didn't think too much of it, but I switched it off and uh, jumped underneath and there was a significant amount of oil coming out. Yeah, so it was a significant amount and it was under pressure, a fair bit of pressure, so I was losing a lot of oil. Um, so this is what we've got now now originally i got under under here and i thought that uh it had you know spat a seal around the filter housing because that's where it looked where it was coming from you can actually see a, a drip still coming there so anyway i ordered a full um service kit with both the filters the new seals and uh an air filter and all that for the engine uh thinking that that would cure it but uh, after doing that and putting 10 litres of um, hydraulic oil back into it, uh, I noticed the leak was still there. And when I had a proper look, I, I switched it on and I jumped underneath to have a look. And uh, it was actually not coming out from the seals, but it was coming out of here in between the pressure control valve and the transmission case. So... From what I'm gathering, um, I've tried to look at a few schematics and stuff like that. But from from what I'm gathering is there's a seal up in there, uh, in between that valve and the transmission case that can let go. And obviously it has let go for me. So I've got a, quite a bit of a job in front of me, as you can see. There's a fair bit of work to get all that out and to get that valve out. This one here I'm talking about this one here uh, there's a few um, hose connections to it there's a, a shaft in there with a spring and uh, shims and all that sort of stuff that uh, works to control the hydraulic pressure and I think I've seen um, bits and pieces on YouTube about it I think a couple of people have put up stuff there's a young guy in America who uh, has replaced his internals in that valve and it's uh i hope it's working again for him i haven't seen uh, his youtube ones anyway stick with us guys and i'll pull this down and we'll have a look at it and uh see what we can do to get this machine going again yeah so i'll keep you posted on how that goes so you can look out for part two of this job i've just got to pull that down and see what parts i need so i'll make a video of that and uh, make a video of what parts I'm putting into it on the bench. So, but for today, it's Indian Day. 
Gonna go for a nice little ride on the Indian, probably a couple of hundred kilometers and enjoy the cooler weather. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.